Hello everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV in Round Rock, Texas. Now today, I am at the Intec RV factory and Keith is gonna be joining us. Thank you, Keith. Absolutely, thank you for coming. And we're gonna take a look at the Soul Eclipse. This is such a great trailer, something new in the Soul lineup. You're gonna not want to miss this. Now this is gonna weigh around 3,000 pounds, right? Correct, roughly about 3,000 pounds and it's 17 feet length overall on this trailer. And that includes the tongue, That correct? includes the tongue, yep. All right, so if you're looking for something in the Soul line, this has the front kitchen and the rear dinette bed area. Stick around, we're gonna show you all the details. Let's go inside. All right, let's take a look. I just love walking in this trailer, Keith, because this kitchen in the front with the windshield, the panoramic view, the windows on both sides, this feels like I could really do some serious cooking here. Absolutely. And that was the design behind the Soul Eclipse is to give you just this massive kitchen with an absolutely great view, taking advantage of that big front windshield. And then compared to most trailers of size, we're giving you countertop space. You got room right. to work. You got prep space all over inside the Soul Eclipse. Well, as far as appliances, tell me what I'm looking at up here. Okay, so built in, you're going to have your farmhouse sink here, nice and big and deep, easy to use, clean pots and pans. Just you beautiful stainless steel yeah, here too. It is I such a pretty finish on and that And this one. faucet yep. comes out. This is such a nice faucet. And this just hooks right back in there if you just want it to stand still. But boy, you can fit a lot of really tall pots in this. It's about eight inches deep. Yeah, about eight inches deep or so, and probably about close to, to a foot and a half, two feet wide there going across. Mm -hmm. So it is, it's a lot of usable space for a sink there. I love that. Okay, what else? So we got our two burner stove. So it's got a little cast iron grade, electric ignition on that, runs off the propane tanks there. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna have a microwave built in right down here. Mm -hmm. And Now on this stove too, if you were not using the stove and you fold this down, it is a glass top. So if Correct. you're not using the stove, this will all be usable counter space. It's just wonderful. And then look at this space. You've got all the space behind the stove and the sink, yeah. as well as countertop over here to the left of the sink. Great space for coffee pots, for extra food, for some prep. I love that. Yes, lots I of room in this that. kitchen. While we're on the front here, can we look at the storage? Absolutely, so we try to maximize storage, of course, in a kitchen, that's very important. Mm -hmm. So as you look up across the top, you're gonna notice you're gonna have cubby cabinets, great for sticking coffee cups, little odds and ends. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have a couple of cabinets with doors here on the sides, and then mm -hmm. also in the front, this one's really nice and deep. And you probably right. can't really see this in the video, but this goes way back in. You could fit a lot of stuff back in this section here. And I love the recessed lighting right underneath these doors. So yes. it lights up the countertop right behind your sink and Correct. stove. Correct, really lights up your workspace well. As you look down below then, we're gonna take advantage of some cabinet storage down below the sink. And then also below the microwave, there's gonna be some cabinet storage, some cabinet doors down there. Coming over to the side, you've got a nice room. These have bungee nets on them. You know, if you're sticking your cracker boxes, cereal boxes, all kinds of space to take advantage of that right down the side here. I just love that because when you don't have cabinet doors to open, you can use all of the space for storage. Yes. And I would keep a lot of food products right down there because yep. they'd be easy to grab, easy to get to, and then a shelf across the top. This is where, if it was me, that is where I would put cell phones, a little basket for those little odds and ends, the flashlight, all those things that I would want to have just nearby. Yep. I love the open cubbies too on both sides and they have the backlit blue light in them mm -hmm. that you put in all of your soul products. 
just gives it that nice ambiance in the evening when it you does. don't want the overhead lights. Yep. So lots of overhead storage, lots of storage right underneath this sink. All the doors are going to have soft close hinges on them as well. That's great. I love that. Now on the side windows here, you've got day night shades yes, we where they're going to pull down the bottom half for a day shade, the top half for a night shade. Correct. Now is that standard in the sole lineup as well? That is standard across all the sole lineups. So you'll always see the day night shades on the side and back window. And you'll always see the roller shade on the front window. So that'll okay. be across the whole line. Okay, so Keith, let's take a look at the other side of the kitchen here. There's a refrigerator. Correct. So you got a 3.7 cubic foot refrigerator. It is a three-way, so it runs off the electric, the battery, and the gas option. Um, the nice thing about this refrigerator, you'll notice up here at the top, this is a freezer section, but it can also be removed if you need additional refrigeration area. So gives you some options there for space. Wonderful, because everybody uses a refrigerator differently, right? Absolutely. And underneath the refrigerator is the furnace. Correct. So you have a 16,000 BTU furnace on board that's running off your LP on this unit. So okay. more than enough heat to keep this thing nice and warm on a cool, cool day or cool night. Super. So with the furnace under here and the heated tanks and the 13.5 air conditioner, mm -hmm. Good to go. Good to go. All right. One thing I really like about this space is the countertop above it and then all this side space. So much counter space up here to work with. You won't be searching for a spot for your coffee maker in this unit, will you? That's right. <laughs> and I got to have my coffee maker, That's right. right? And above it, of course, you've got those side uh, cabinets that are lit up with the nice blue light that you have in all the soles. Correct. Next to that, tell me what we're looking at, Keith. So then you got your command control panel and what that's going to do for you, it's going to have your water pump is going to be turned on there. Uh, your water heater, both the electric and gas will be turned on up there. That's right. Cause you have both, you have electric or gas. Correct. All right. And then we do put a tank heater on board this unit. So what that does is your black tank is below the deck on this unit. And if you were to be out camping and it was going to get below freezing that night, you could turn on that tank heater and make sure you don't have any freezing happening on the tanks. So all that is controlled right there at the command control center. It also has the monitor panel on the top too. You so do. you can see how big the tanks are and you can also see maybe how charged your battery is. You can check is. the levels and you can check the level of your battery as well. Great. Well, that's all good stuff. I love the way it's real compact right up there on the wall. Yep. And then you got your Jensen, uh, DVD player or CD and DVD player right up there as well. Okay. So the neat thing about that unit is, well, it's Bluetooth. So, you know, you can naturally Super. connect right to your phone. But if you were to put in a DVD, um, when we come to the other side of the unit, you'll see that we got a 28 inch TV. It'll talk directly to the TV, plays a sound through your four speakers. So you can watch a movie and full surround sound in here. Oh, that's awesome. Because you have a speaker in every corner, we right? We do. Yep. On the corners up here, these nice, Really, I love the way these are rectangular, but they're real slim. They, yeah, more they're residential not real feeling, they're real built in. They do, they look very nice. Yeah, so you've got two in the front and two in the back. Correct. That's great. All right, well, I tell you what, right in the center of the camper, mm -hmm. you've got this nice, really very spacious bathroom for it a 17 is. foot unit. I love the curved wall here, mm -hmm. and this material is what? That's an aluminum wall that goes around okay. there. So you've got that nice shiny white that matches your cabinetry throughout the unit. And, and again, it just gives easy it a to clean. Open feel. Very easy yeah. to clean. Yeah. Yes, wipes down easily. I love that. Well, let's take a look inside. All right, well, let's open it up. So as you look inside there, PJ, you'll notice there's a lot of space. Um, again, it uses our 29 by 44 inch pan. It's big enough that like I can get in there. I'm six foot two tall. I got plenty of room to get in there and move around. Uh, it's an easy to clean bathroom. So very bright, bright, nice space in there. Yes. And again, I always like the storage and this has the, the nylon mesh mm -hmm. uh, piece on the front wall that can hold all of your bathroom items. And you've got a bunch of little pockets you can put things in. You've got a few spaces to hang a towel, some little towel little knobs towel at the there. top. Yep. And the other thing this features the same as our other soles. So you got a vent in there, but there's an exterior door on this. And we do that so you don't have to have a shower curtain. You close this door, you're completely sealed off. You're not bumping up against a shower curtain wet and having it stick to you. 
or having that vent kind of suck it up while you're trying to take a shower. So that, nice feature. That is really great. You don't have anything you have to pull across the door, Correct. nothing to worry about. Just if you want to wipe it down, you can get like a nice microfiber and just wipe down the walls when you're done and everything's cleaned up, ready to go. Big mirror on the door. Yep. I love that. It's a really nice bathroom. The power fan with the LED lights around yeah, it. Yeah, it's a nice look. It, you know, hard to think of a bathroom being kind of cool and open, <laughs> but yeah, great space in there. Yep. Let's close this up. Okay. Look across from it because we've got over here the 28 inch television and the cabinet space. Let's take a look at that. Absolutely. Now across from the bathroom next to the door is a storage space with your 28 inch Jensen television. Tell me about this space because it's very compact, but has a lot of things going on here. There's a lot happening here. So as you look at this first, you'll notice you have your light switch panel on the side, nicely mm -hmm. positioned right by the door. You can access, turn on your, uh, all your accent lights and your lights inside the unit. Also with the countertop here, we have the outlet, we have the Dometic uh, thermostat. So this operates your 13,500 BTU AC is operated from there and the heat all controlled in that section. And then next to that, you'll see there's the max air fan remote. So there it has four different speeds, got a nice big 12 inch blade max air fan that can move a lot of air through this unit if you're not using your AC. Yeah, and we're in Texas where it's hot. So yes. if you're not using the AC, or maybe if you are, but you can open the windows, turn on that power fan and create a breeze yep. with the touch of a button and control it all from right here. Absolutely. I love that. And then down below here, you're gonna have storage. And what this is gonna be used for is to, act, to utilize storage for your filler cushions. So when we get back to the dinette, we'll talk about how that transforms into the bed and those cushions can be kept in this storage compartment right here. So if you kept your cushions in here, mm -hmm. it would allow you to make this front space into a, an actual dinette. Correct. But I know that there'll be people who will make this dinette a bed permanently. Mm -hmm. And if you did that, then this cabinet could certainly be storage. That becomes a great storage point then for you. Absolutely. Right. Or if you wanted to make this storage and keep these cushions in your vehicle. Mm -hmm. Correct. Or maybe do... Would these fit actually in one of the outdoor compartments? You could put them in the outdoor compartment. There's some spots even underneath the seats here where you could put those as well. So if you wanted to take advantage of that, put some shelves in there and make more storage for yourself in this thing, that would be a good spot for it. I just like to point out some options in trailers yes. because everybody well, you're always looking uses for that a trailer space, right? different. Yes, absolutely. Yes, but it is kind of nice that if you're putting your bed uh, up into a dinette every day mm -hmm. that you would have those two cushions stowed away right here yep. and easy access. Yep. Great. Wonderful. And of course, these, these beautiful laminate cabinets on yeah, the outside. I really love are. them. They are gorgeous. So we're getting to the best part. One more thing, cool thing I gotta tell you on the TV oh, though. Okay. Because on this, all of these are on a swivel. So this actually pulls oh. down and comes out yes. from the wall. So if you're back there in the dinette area, you can see it easily. Or if you're up in the kitchen, you can twist that around and see the TV from wherever you're at. And something that you just did that I like to bring up is it's not something you put a strap around or anything else. Correct. This is a really nice swivel arm because yep. all you do is push it back into place. It clips in and locks itself. There is nothing you have to do except push it against the wall. Mm -hmm. That's nice because then you don't have to forget Correct. to strap down your TV down before you go. And goes flying off. On right. Yep. And storage, of course, right above it. Storage above. So you got the little storage cabinet there. Then right next to there, you're going to see another one of those little cubbies. So mm -hmm. utilizing all the upper space we can to get you as much storage as possible. Okay. Well, before we sit down in this dinette, which is awesome, mm -hmm. as it is in almost well, every soul has just yes. an amazing dinette. Yep. They're all a little different, but they're all great. Um, tell me about the storage around this dinette. So in this dinette, you have a double storage compartment option. So right here, you're going to have a storage that you can access from the inside by pulling up that cushion and then pulling up a board there where you can access some nice big storage. Also from the outside, there's a door to flip up and you can store from the outside in that compartment. So it's double purpose. You can get it either way. Either way. As okay. you go across the back, there is some room above some tanks and other areas back in here 
but we utilize a lot of that spot for your fresh water tank, for your water heater. So on the other two sides, there's not as much storage available. Okay, got it. And up above, you have the two uh, kind of uh, iconic storage Got cabinets storage that you see in the soles with the blue lights in them. You'll see them in all the sole products. And in the back, the three, the three uh, high gloss there. cabinets mm -hmm. that open up for more storage. I love the three windows on the sides, day night shades on all of them. Yes, lots of when you're sitting back in there, you really do, you're surrounded by the windows again. So even though it's not up at that front window this time, you're in the back section, we still give you a lot of natural light coming in. Lots of different options on a sole. It's really it a is. matter of the layout, isn't it? Correct. Whatever suits you best. If you need the more kitchen space, that's where this Eclipse is really nice. Yeah, I love this Eclipse. Okay, and the two lights on the back, uh, right now they're white lights, but they also turn blue. Correct. So you can do it either way. If you're turning out your top light, you can actually use them for accent lights as well. Um, let's have a seat in the dinette and just talk about okay. a few more things. Okay, Keith, so we haven't talked about this yet. So tell me what this table and the countertops is made of. Absolutely. So this is a vinyl uh, surface. It's actually melted over this board here. So it gives you this really nice finish, this beautiful edge on it. It's a very durable product. So of course, before we put something in our units, we do a lot of testing, try and scratch it up, see how it stains or how it wears and you're able to clean up stains. And this, this product cleans very well. Wonderful. So I love the fact that it doesn't have any edge banding on it. Yep. It's super lightweight, lightweight absolutely. But, but this is actually melted onto here. It is actually treated. So it's one piece. It is. It's melted and sealed. Some people use this in outdoor applications because it is so sealed up. Uh, but, you know, obviously we're using it inside on the unit too. Well, it is beautiful. It looks just like marble and it feels good. It's smooth. It just adds a real elegant touch here. Yeah. And another thing I like to point out as far as materials, the leather in these is nice. There yes. is all different kinds of leatherette. Mm -hmm. I know it is not true leather, but sometimes when you're talking about something that's an imitation leather, it doesn't feel good. Correct. You guys have told me you went to great lengths to find something that was soft, comfortable, and durable. We did. We really looked at the way the way the materials broke down over time. So, you know, as it sits out and it has the heat on it, especially down there in Texas where you got right. a lot of heat, how is it going to cycle throughout the years? Um, so finding a good durable vinyl. And then also what we put behind it, we put a very dense foam in our seats. Uh, a lot of seats feel good when you first sit on them, right. they feel kind of soft, but then after you use them for a week or two, they really break down. Or so, a year or two. Or a year or two. So we put a higher dollar, more dense foam in our seats as well, so that they wear well, they're comfortable, um, even going to the extent of putting lumbar in the back of the seats too. So we're really worried about making sure this is a comfortable space. We want you to come in here, be able to sit, relax, and enjoy it. Well, I can tell you, this is a super comfortable space. I also love that you actually make little corner pieces. Yeah. You've got the angles, the feeling of the contour in the seat instead of just a box mm -hmm. or just doing the back seats, you know, that kind of, it doesn't Correct. feel dinette-ish. It doesn't, you know, the, these are comfortable, as, especially as we talk about the TV. Mm -hmm. Now we're able to lean back into these corners, kick up. Yeah, there you go. I have to, to straight. you know. You gotta lean back a little further. Okay, folks, so I'm five foot tall, and how tall are you, Keith? So I'm six two. So when we design okay. these things, I get real particular about having them a deep seat. So mm -hmm. these have some nice depth to them, so for a taller person, it's still comfortable. Yeah, good. And that's important to know because I really am five feet tall. I can't be any taller and show you how this works. Yes. I'm glad we have someone else with me. Okay, so the other thing this dinette does for you then, PJ, is this turns into your bed, of course, like we were talking about earlier. There's two filler cushions that drop right in here. This table easily comes out. And then you have a bed that is 55 inches by 80 inches. So a nice, comfy, cozy sleeping place here in the back. Wonderful. So it is almost a true queen size bed right Correct. here in the back. Yep, a lot of space. And you know, that means the world to me that you put in a table that's easily liftable, maneuverable. Mm -hmm. You know, those big heavy tables, they're bulky. Yep. I love the way this swivels and I love the way it's got all rounded corners mm -hmm. and it gives us a little space in here. It does. So the thing I like about this table mm -hmm. is that it isn't part of the dinette that you use to make the bed. Correct, correct. So you have your own separate filler cushions, 
Like you mentioned, this is lightweight, easily pulls out, it's out of your way, mm -hmm. and you drop in the fillers for the bed. Yes, and it isn't so big that you have to kind of figure out how to maneuver around it's it. It's not coming way That's out awesome. into your space. Yep. Yeah. I, I think this trailer is so special. Of course, I have to admit, I love all the Soul products. Um, you guys, if you haven't taken a look at the Soul, it is a quality product, feels spacious. Intech has done just a great job on developing this line, and I am so excited to see all the new stuff you're doing. Well, thank you. We appreciate it. It's been fun showing this one to you guys today. Well, we're not done yet because right. I want to go show the outside. So let's go outside and show them what it looks like out there. Sounds good. All righty. So Keith, we're on the outside. Tell me a little bit about the construction before we show people the details. Absolutely. So one thing that's different about Intech from most other RVs out there is our construction. Okay. Uh, we are an all aluminum frame. So the base frame of this unit is designed by Intech and then constructed by Intech and it's all welded fully out of aluminum. And then on top of that, the walls structure is a caged aluminum frame that is then welded to the base frame. So you have this solid aluminum structure going down the road. We're not dependent upon the walls or anything else, the exterior skinning holding this unit together. So you really have strength and durability and you don't have steel that can rust out. Uh, you know, in your environment, you don't have salt, but you get up in the Northern areas where you have salt and all that the aluminum holds up very well. Well, in Texas, we have the beach, so we've that's got plenty true. of got salt, salt there. Salt water, so. Well, that's very different than most manufacturers it is. who have a frame and then they build a wall and they attach it. Correct. All right, that's very cool. That really gives longevity to your product, I it think. It does, longevity You know, we strength. always talk about going down the road and the flex, and that's gonna give you just a solid build and we can actually see that on the tongue of the trailer when we, we go can. around yep yep that's where you can kind of see some of the aluminum frame sticking out right here so you got the triple that's tube right. a frame sticking out right there that you can see so that actually continues back to the base of the trailer and on up through the walls that does all welded together all welded together all yes. right the front cap is kind of a standard on the sole product it is. tell me about that so a one piece fiberglass cap we have our okay. own designed window that goes in the front of this that you enjoy from the inside there Another neat thing about this cap is you'll notice we designed the LP tanks back into it. Mm -hmm. So as opposed to your LP tanks sitting out on the front of the tongue where you have to look at them, mm -hmm. now they're designed back in here. And this compartment's large enough for two LP tanks. So oh, it comes standard lovely. with one, but then you can option up to two. On All it. right, just to be clear, standard with one, Correct. but two can fit. Two can fit. Wonderful. This is again, another signature piece of the sole product. Yes. So tell me about the windshield that you put on these. How worried should I be about chips, cracks, or even on the remotest possibility of a replacement if it got damaged? Absolutely, so this is the same as the windshield in your car. It's a three ply okay. tempered glass. Um, if you were to get a rock chip, it would be able to be repaired by a gel repair, just like you would on your car windshield. Mm -hmm. um, if you were in the remote chance to actually damage it and break the windshield, you could have it repaired at a glass company again, just like you would your car windshield. So it's it's an easy thing to take care of in the unlikely scenario something does happen to it. The other thing we offer is there's an option for a cover that goes over the glass. So if you wanna protect it from any potential rock chips or something like that, you can do the optional windshield cover and have a little more peace of mind there too. Oh, great, that's awesome. All right, I love the blue lights at the top. That's like nice another signature accent, yeah. series in the sole. Absolutely. Okay, now on the Eclipse, mm -hmm. let's take a look at the front of the trailer. Okay. I know that uh, we've got the kitchen windows on both sides. Mm -hmm. I love the big handle. It's stationary right here at the entrance. Yep. Um, got the, your two outlets right there. That's so if right. You hook on, put a table out here, put appliances out here, you can do so. Mm hmm. Now, what size are the tires on the Soul products? So that's a 15 inch aluminum wheel that's placed on all the Soul products right there. Okay. And it's a 20575. Okay. And this is the storage that's underneath the dinette. Correct. So when we're in, on the interior, we're talking about that storage you could, you could access in there under the dinette. This is the outside portion of it. You can get to it from either spot. Once again, nice and big. You can fit, you know, camp chairs in there. If you're taking firewood with you, whatever it might be, you got a lot of space down below. And you do a full finish out on your compartments, which I think is awesome. We do, very clean looking. Uh, down here, you've got 
uh, some flooring that's the same flooring that's inside the trailer. Yes. Tell me about the flooring. So this is infinity woven flooring and it goes throughout the entire trailer. Um, infinity woven flooring is used commonly in the marine industry. Okay. So it's a very durable product. That was one big key we wanted to look at when we picked the floor here. Um, we did testing with it, how it cleaned up with mud, grease. It performs very well. And the other thing I really like about it, it's just, it's a very, it looks like a woven floor. It's not trying to be something it's not. It's not a fake wood, a fake tile, anything like that. It's a very neat, right. neat classic look on it. So most people are used to seeing vinyl or a vinyl wood look on yes. a floor. And um, this gives them a lot more class, but it does have a texture to it. It does. So there's always that fear that things will get stuck in it and it'll mm -hmm. be really hard to clean. Can I just sweep this out and wipe it with a rag? You can, you can sweep it out. If it were to get really dirty, you would take a, a sponge with uh, soapy water on it and wipe it down. And that's how simple that flooring is to clean out. Wonderful, I love it. So the compartment door has the magnetic catch on it, which is super easy. So all you have to do is flip it up and it's gonna hold itself out of the way. Really nice storage there. I yeah. love that. Nice usable space. Those out, outdoor storage spots are key when you're camping, as, as we all know. I agree. Let's move around the other side. All right, well, let's come around to the back here. All right, PJ, so as we come around the back, you're gonna see you got your nice antenna up top there. Um, that's gonna have your TV signal coming into it and your FM for your stereo. Uh, you come down, you've got your full windshield. We were enjoying that there in the dinette, or I'm sorry, the fixed pane glass window. Then as you come down to the bottom, you're gonna see we have a two inch receiver. So right here. Yep, and that's okay. a nice piece. You can add a bike rack to it. You got 100 pounds of, of carrying capacity there in the back. Great, so if I had an extra ice chest or a few extra things I wanted to carry, yep. I could do a storage tray or a bike rack with a couple of bikes. Correct. Lots of options there. Correct. All right. This is another good spot to point out how our roof is constructed. Because mm -hmm. this piece you see here goes all the way up to the front cap without a single seam in it. So it starts right here. Yep. And it's a solid piece to the front cap. Solid piece all the way to the front cap, no breaks or seams in it. Wow, that's amazing. Yes. That is amazing, gives you a lot of uh, longevity, not gonna have any problems with fiberglass. I love the fact that if you brush up under a tree, mm -hmm. it's not gonna rip up a rubber roof, it's not gonna grab a seam. Correct. It's gonna slide right off this fiberglass. Yep. And you keep on going. That's right. All right, let's move around the back side. Okay, come around to this side here. All right, so right as we come around, you'll see we have a little spray hose hooked up on the back side mm -hmm. here. So that's a handy piece if you want to spray down bikes or any dirty equipment. Dogs, right kids, dogs, anything. kids, whatever you need. Unwanted neighbors. <laughs> I right love there. the way it has a disconnect here. Yep. And so you just take the hose off, slide it right in over it, and close the hatch. It's really it easy, very available. All yes. right. What's next to that? So next to that, you got your water fill. You can either hook up to city water if you like, or you can fill your 28 gallon fresh water tank right there at that location. Super easy. Yep. And the water heater. Water heater. And it is gas or electric. Gas or electric, yes. Excellent. This so, is going to be your shore power hookup. Shore power hookup. Mm-hmm. And then you got your solar prep right there. So that's wired already into the battery. If you had a solar panel, you could just plug it in right there and you'd be good to go. And set it out there to catch the set sun and you can boondock anywhere. Absolutely. A vent for the battery. Um, a vent for the battery, and then that's your coax cable input right there. So whether you were hooking up, you know, you already have the antenna, but if you were hooking up to cable at the campground, you would hook that there. Perfect. Perfect. A lot of space here. We're moving on to the refrigerator vents right here. Refrigerator vents, and then also your furnace vent down below. 16,000 BTU furnace. Yes, ma'am. Excellent. All right. Let's come back around and show people the front of the trailer. All right. Sounds good. Okay, everybody, I am so excited that we got to show you this trailer with Keith telling us all the details. It is amazing what they do here at the Intec RV factory. It is quality all the way. This beautifully made, fully welded cage frame trailer with all the nice features in it, even a 10 foot awning up there. Thank you so much. What a great trailer. Yes, absolutely. Thanks for coming and checking it out today. All right. If you guys want to see the Soul lineup, 
then give us a call here at Princess Craft RV. I'm sure there's a question that we didn't answer for you. And until next time, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Be sure to leave a comment. We always love to hear from you and we will see you next time.